If you're a bot like me, use code I'm a bot in the Fortnite item shop. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Flashy Finesse and today I wanted to talk to you guys about overclocking controllers uh, and whether or not I think you should overclock your controller. I really don't think it's a good idea to be honest because for one you could mess up your controller you know uh, there is a chance anytime you overclock anything you know that you could mess something up but <clears throat> even if there's no chance of you messing nothing up with your controller um, when I tried it it really didn't work how that people were saying it worked um, I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or what but I followed all the steps right and everything and um, when I tried it I did notice that my like my R2 and L2 buttons uh, and their face buttons and their, all the rest of the buttons were faster but my analog sticks felt slow like my analog sticks were laggy and my rest of my buttons were fast when I overclocked it and it really like I didn't see the hype of everybody making videos everybody just making a video on overclocking just because and recommending you to do it when you know when I tested it it didn't work that good it really didn't work good it worked good on like placing my walls faster and like stairs and stuff like that but other than that my aim it was terrible it, it was terrible for my aim so I really wouldn't recommend it but if you stay and wait to the end of the video I'm gonna show you guys a trick that's gonna give you those faster buttons and still give you that low input lag uh, as far as your analog sticks and a lot of people don't know about this man and it's really slept on I don't think even a lot of pro players probably don't even know this so uh, definitely look out for that but first I want to talk about input lag and Hertz and response time and all that type of stuff and you know what's basically what's the best controller as far as input lag goes uh, there was recently a study done by a channel called rocket science I'll try to find a link and put it in the description but basically man this guy did a study and he found out that this default PlayStation controller is the fastest controller as far as input lag and that goes for Xbox everything else and you guys let me know if you know of any controller but to me I, I think I don't see why they can't just make a one millisecond response time controller this wired because I don't know I guess because the default port it's default at 250 Hertz which is basically like four milliseconds of lag and that's pretty much every controller except for Sony's Bluetooth capability uh, so definitely that's the fastest input lag you're gonna get is somewhere in between one and two milliseconds through that Bluetooth and the Bluetooth pulls at a thousand Hertz which is basically like a thousand times a second it's keeping up with your movement or what you're doing on on controller so that's basically one millisecond and of course it's give or take because it's Bluetooth you know and Bluetooth's not completely all the way one millisecond but still it's still the fastest response time as far as controllers go and that's just crazy to me like I really didn't know that anything else is gonna be worse way worse than that and I know that from experience and I think that actually even goes for the scuff controllers because they actually are just modified regular PS4 controllers so it's pretty much doing the same thing and as far as the elite goes I don't think there's any advantage using the elite as far as input lag over the stock uh, Xbox controller or whatever uh, so even for the elite controllers it's pretty much the same situation um, if you know any different or if you know a controller that's one millisecond definitely put that down in the comments and uh, I think this needs to be more talked about man uh, especially for a competitive I think that would definitely help out the scene and uh, I don't know if they can do mouses and all this other stuff one millisecond why can't they do controllers you know but <clears throat> so that's just my opinion uh, if this if you overclocked and it works for good for you then good like I'm you know like I'm just basically trying to talk about my experience with it and you know 
basically with the basically the PS4 controller only because I don't deal with the Xbox or any of the, those other controllers like if you have a Astro C40 and you overclocked and it went good then good for you man like I want everybody to have the best you know lowest input lag they can you know really uh, you know I'm gonna offer helping people out with their game and stuff at my channel and uh, so that's why I'm gonna show you guys this trick and um, if you guys use PlayStation controllers on your PC and this is only for you guys um, but uh, if you guys know what DS4 Windows is I'm about to pull it up and show you all right guys so this is DS4 Windows as you can see I got my PS4 controller connected it's at 80% and you want to click edit right here and that'll bring you to this screen here and what you want to do is go in here to controller readings and that'll show you your input delay you're getting on your controller right here as you can see I'm getting pretty good input delay um, if you're having weak Bluetooth or bad connection with your input lag on your Bluetooth controller uh, get a Bluetooth dongle uh, and that probably will help it's definitely helped me but definitely getting the best input lag right here as you can see and the trick that I was talking about is right here on the sensitivity of your triggers you can actually turn these up so that whenever you push L2 and R2 uh, it normally starts off at 1 but if you turn it up you can basically make your triggers more sensitive and place walls faster steal walls faster and just you know just basically shoot people faster and just have better reaction time so it's definitely a tight trick I, I didn't I don't think I've never seen anyone do anything about this or show this so just wanted to put that out there and help you guys out so that's pretty much it for the video guys uh, thanks for watching definitely leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below Thank you to everybody using code. I'm a bot in the item shop. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm definitely going to start. As you can see, I'm back on a YouTube grind. And uh, I'm going to be uploading videos. So I appreciate all you guys' support. Um, I'm also going to be trying to transfer over to Twitch. Uh, so definitely follow me guys at twitch.tv slash flashy underscore finesse. I appreciate all you guys. Peace out.